Would you please tell us your name? My name is Jim Campbell. And what have you brought to the harvest today? I brought an ashtray from the Hotel Governor Snyder, which is downtown. It is now BJ's. I brought a football program from a 1953 Sunbury Sealands Grove football game. It was the first time that Sealands Grove ever beat Sunbury. They were the big city then. And I brought something called Susquehanna Studies from January of 1940. It uh, has scholarly papers included mostly by uh, Susquehanna faculty. How old is the ashtray? Ashtray is probably from the 1940s. There's a telephone number and all it is is 2121. No exchange. Can you uh, um, show us on the, the camera? There is the ashtray. And it says, Hotel Governor Snyder, free parking, routes 11 and 15, Sealands Grove, for reservations, phone 2121. Uh, I think in the 1950s, a prefix was given to the uh, Sealands Grove uh, telephone exchange, and it was Drake 4 and then the four digits. So this was obviously before that, and that's why I base it at probably somewhere between 1946 and 1949. So, um, the Hotel Governor Snyder was, I like to think it was like a classic tavern from colonial times. Uh, the men especially would meet there in the evenings, discuss the day's happenings over a 10 cent draft. And um, it was just a, a community place. Uh, everyone got along. It, it was just what I think probably happened in the 1700s was happening in the 1950s, 60s, as long as the place existed as it, as it was. I also brought the Susquehanna Studies, and I'm sure there's multiple copies in the archives. As I said, uh, there are scholarly papers in here, mostly by Susquehanna faculty members, and then a football program from 1953, Sealands Grove versus Sunbury. It was the first time that Sealands Grove ever beat Sunbury, and not only did we beat them, we shut them out 14 nothing. It was a, a great celebration, uh, long into the night. <laughs> Fire trucks, uh, uh, free breakfast at the, what was the iron skillet? I'm trying to think what is, what exists where the iron skillet. I think it's that um, day old bakery up on, uh, and right past uh, the Monroe Marketplace. I, I think it was one, establishment down from uh, from McDonald's. Uh, that was an all-night diner and the people who were a little bit older than we were, uh, guys that had played against Sunbury and got beaten badly in the 40s and early 50s, uh, it really meant a lot to them. They were buying us breakfasts and I think it was the first time I ever had steak and eggs at about 1 a.m. But it, it was really, it, there was a hot time in the old town that night. So that was very interesting and a real milestone. Um, how, did your family, how did your family acquire these items? The football programs were from when I played. I have not only that program, but I have programs from all of my games from sophomore, junior, senior year. This was my junior year. So it's just something I hung on to and happy that I did. The Susquehanna Studies uh, was given to me by an old high school English teacher. Uh, I don't know how she acquired it, but uh, she passed it on to me. I would assume she was a Susquehanna graduate. Uh, this was from 1940. She probably graduated in the in the teens. Uh, her name was Eva Herman, 
and she had three sisters, or two sisters, there were three sisters all together. They were all Susquehanna graduates. And uh, the one sister, Beatrice, was a bursar at Susquehanna in the 30s and 40s. The other sister, Miss Phoebe, uh, was a Latin teacher at Sealands Grove High. And they were always referred to, They uh, none of the three ever married, and they were always referred to by their first names, like Miss Eva, Miss Phoebe, Miss B. And uh, they were quite a family. Their father was a physician, an old country doctor. Uh, he uh, was also a Susquehanna graduate. So that's how I came about that. And this ashtray, I purchased it, uh, I guess it was this summer, whenever they had antiques on the avenue. Uh, it was a place that I frequented <laughs> frequently and just thought that I ought to have a souvenir from there. So that's how that came into my possession. How did you know about the history behind it? The history behind it? Yeah. I've lived in Sealands Grove 50 of my 79 years and uh, knew, I think I first, well, I, I know I started going to the Hotel Governor Snyder my sophomore year in high school to watch the fights, the, uh, the boxing matches every Monday, Wednesday, and Friday. That was uh, a staple of television. That would have been about 1951, 1952, and television did not really come to Sealands Grove until about 1951. Um, Sealands Grove was part of the first cable system in the country. Service Electric, which is a cable system here, was started in 1948, and as I said, it was the first in the country. So television was relatively new, and in addition to variety shows, things like that, uh, boxing was the big sporting event. Uh, baseball was also on television. College football at that time, you got one game a week, and it was, and teams could only be on television one time in a season. So it's not like I was looking at the schedule before I came out here t this morning, uh, starting at noon and going past midnight, there's probably a half a dozen games at each segment, starting at noon, then others at 3.30, then others at 7, then others at 10. So it was a lot different. And uh, as I said, boxing was the big draw. Monday night was St. Nick's are Arena. Uh, Wednesday night was uh, Madison Square Garden, and Friday night would be from anywhere in the country where there was a pretty prominent fight. So, How did you hear about the History Harvest? I was called uh, in the summer by Ryan, and uh, a friend of mine was going to be here, but he was out of, he's out of town and asked me if I would step in, so I'm here. I don't know quite what my role is. Uh, I think what I'll do probably is people bring things in and may not know what they have. I may be able to fill in some history, things like that, uh, help identify things that people don't know what it is, you know, like a picture of a building or something. So that's how I heard about uh, the uh, history harvest. And as I said, took part in the one that was held homecoming morning. I think we're good. Thank you for everything. Thank you very You're much. quite welcome. Uh, these are going to be scanned. Or